What's up you guys, this is Vinsanity, and today we're gonna to be talking about injury recovery. Now, as you guys may know, if you're training really, really hard, you could potentially get injuries. And sometimes it's not really injury, it's just sore muscles or you know some inflammation somewhere. And the faster we recover, the faster we can get back to training hard. Now, one of the easiest and almost miraculous ways of recovering is using ice. But sometimes icing yourself with actual ice could become kind of a tedious task and doesn't always work so well. What I used to do is actually take some ice and throw it in a grocery bag or a plastic bag. Or sometimes if I got desperate, I would use random things in the freezer like this block of cheese. And probably the most common issue that I had with making these ice packs is if I try to reuse it, I just literally have this clump of ice. It does not really mold to your body or work so well because it is super hard. At the same time, they rip, the zippers don't last so long, and eventually you're gonna have to replace it. But today we're making a DIY ice pack that will hopefully last you guys a little bit longer and suit your needs. What you guys will need is scissors for rubbing alcohol, not to be confused with drinking alcohol, although you probably could use drinking alcohol, but that might get really expensive, so I'd recommend rubbing alcohol. Water, some kind of food saver or ghetto contraption to mimic a food saver, and some somewhat heavy duty plastic food saver bags. For this first step in our adventure is we need to actually cut our bag to the length that we like. And for me, I kinda wanna make this for my lower back. If you guys wanna make it for something else, it'll kinda depend on the length. But I kinda wanna make it so that when I wrap my lower back like this, it'll kinda cover the whole area. So I'm basically gonna go measure it basically based on myself, so to about, maybe here, because I'm gonna seal it. And what I'm gonna do is just literally cut a straight line across. All right, if you guys wanna use this for say like around your neck or around your shoulder, you could adjust your length accordingly. But in general, a longer length will kind of help you because you could basically wrap it around something. From here, we need to seal it. And what I'm gonna do is actually seal this twice because I don't want any of this to leak. So I'm going to seal it. And now that it's sealed, I'm gonna move it a little bit more in and I'm gonna seal it again. So now that it's sealed, we have to actually fill it up with a mixture of water and rubbing alcohol. Now the reason why we're not used to using water is because rubbing alcohol has a freezing temperature that's much colder than water. So when we mix it together, it actually creates this like slushy mixture. We're gonna start off by filling up this cup with rubbing alcohol. And then these two cups with water. Thus creating a two to one alcohol to water mixture. We're then gonna pour all of these into our bag just to kind of gauge how much more water and alcohol we need. All right, so now we have about here. What we wanna do is actually fill it up maybe to about here, so I think we actually need double what we've used. And then once again, I'm gonna pour this mixture into my bag. Water, try not to be as sloppy as I'm in. Alcohol. And now we have this one very hefty water balloon. And I know it sits here, but when it gets pressed like this, it's gonna basically fill up real nice. So we, we don't wanna have like a super thick one because you want it to actually be able to wrap around our body like that. So from here, let's take it back to the food saver. All right, you guys, so this is the point where you gotta be really careful because you literally just have a bunch of alcohol water in this thing. And if you spill it, well then uh, you will be in trouble by somebody. So I'm gonna actually seal this about an inch down because I wanna have some room so I could just add a couple more seals. If I seal it up high and try to go lower after just to seal it, I'm basically gonna create some water pockets which could potentially you know, cause some leakage. So I'm gonna seal it about an inch in, lift this up, place this in my water catcher thingy. So what I'm hoping for is this is gonna suck out all the air and leave me with a very, very nice air-free water 
balloon thingy. Let's try it. Seal. As you can see, most of the air has gotten out. There's still bubbles, which is okay. Um, as long as it's not like, you know, bubblicious. All right, now it is sealed. Let me just take this off. And we have a nice seal, a nice uneven angular seal, which is uh, still okay, as long as it doesn't pop. All right, so I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna do it a couple more times. All right, now we have one solid bag. It doesn't seem to be any leaks. So what we're gonna do now is actually stick this in the freezer. The cool part about this is you don't really necessarily need to worry about it being super flat. Like if it was like pure water, it would definitely need to be, you know, somewhat flat so that it doesn't, uh, you know, freeze all crazy. But because there's a mixture of the water and the alcohol, you should be perfectly safe to freeze it however you like. Alright you guys, so it has been 24 hours with this in the freezer and as you can see, it kind of like creates this like slushy look like it's not water, watery anymore. It's like a slushy so it actually makes it um, pretty easy for you to um, put on like your leg or possibly your neck or your shoulder um, and actually provide adequate uh, coldness for your injuries or your inflammation or whatever you're gonna use it for. So have fun making your own personal ice pack and uh, happy training and happy injury prevention.